Very popular man, a colourful man, of course, with the North Central Tourist Authority. Not far off either, Alan, is he, eh? Out in the cricket pitch area. There's the Alan Howard down one. safely. Nice one. Here's Alan. Ben Page is coming down next, not far behind him. And he'll be trying to get onto the... Himself, ben Page, Chief Instructor. Let's see if he can do another chippy toe landing. <sighs> Well, he's uh, coming in now, and let's have a look. Well, he's only uh, probably five metres from the uh, cross in the centre, so certainly the uh, spectators here are being treated to a terrific sight. We've got one more to arrive, uh, Alan, and as I speak, here he comes. Magnificent sight. They've got terrific conditions for the parachuting this afternoon, and he's coming down on the cricket pitch area. Nice white colours, and he's going up to set a half forward. Yes, he's going to the... Uh, Barnard straight end of the ground. He landed probably okay, a little bit more quickly than the other two uh, skydivers, but uh, did it well, and uh, that's certainly uh, a great treat for the crowd. Well, it's certainly added to the half-time break here, and uh, of course uh, the new Skyhawk skydivers, they operate out of the Bendigo Aerodrome on the weekend, so if people are interested in taking up this sport, uh, you can pop out and see the club at the Bendigo Airport over the weekends, or the uh, man to contact is Wayne Ferguson in Bendigo. You can telephone him on 411520, and their chief instructor is Ben Page on Melbourne 03514868. Certainly a magnificent display. Well, yes, uh, Alan, I'm very interested to see what Graham Arthur had to say earlier in the day. Uh, of course, Graham has uh, had a fine record in uh, country football, playing with uh, Chica in the Bendigo League. Uh, went to Hawthorne, captained them to their premiership side. He's uh, been around country football administration now for a number of years and had a great say in the formation of the new Bendigo League, which, of course, uh, is in its first year with uh, the Major League and the Minor League combining at the end of last year. This is our first grand final, actually, with the uh, new structure, and it's uh, proved to be a terrific year. And, uh, well, you spoke to Graham Arthur earlier in the day. Yes, uh, Graham is here on behalf of the Victorian Country Football League as we wait for the sides to come out onto the ground. Let's have these words with Graham Arthur. Graham, has it been a big year for the Victorian Country Football League? I think it has, Alan. I, I look optimistically at every, uh, every year and uh, I felt it's been good. There's uh, uh, certain rumblings that came through the year, uh, mainly out of the... Uh, the, the legal battles that the VFL undertook and uh, of course in those areas uh, you'll find that uh, some country uh, administrators want to take up the same um, waving of the flag and uh, uh, there have been uh, slight rumblings but I must admit it's been uh, uh, good uh, from an administration point of view that uh, that the majority, I would say 99% of uh, football administration in the country uh, have had a good year and uh, have kept their heads on their shoulders. Grand final day in Bendigo today and this league at the last summer was in turmoil and the VCFL stepped in and put in a board of management. Has it worked? I'm sure it has. Um, you know, there's been uh, areas uh, where perhaps uh, they may have missed out, I don't know. Uh, you know, local people know better than I on that one, but uh, I feel sure it's been a great plus for Bendigo League. The Winfield Championships, undoubtedly a great success this year. Yes, uh, yes they were. Uh, Ballarat won it again. Um, perhaps unfortunately for three in a row, but a great record for them. Uh, they certainly are showing the way for other leagues. But uh, well, it's not without its problems. We understand that, that uh, you know, the cost factors are growing every year and uh, the prize money is not growing to the same extent. So uh, you know, we're looking at that at this stage and preparing a submission for Winfield and also uh, for the leagues to have a look at before we, we finally get underway with the draw. As the footy season draws to a close, the future of zoning over the summer? <laughs> well, zoning, uh, you know, all the, the pros and cons will be uh, announced uh, towards the end of October. It was going to be by the 1st of October, but there have been delays in the, in the uh, uh, interpretations in some ways. But uh, it certainly, as I see it from VFL House, that, uh, that zoning will continue. I've spoken to VFL clubs who are uh, adamant they want zoning to continue and, uh, and not be rotated. That's uh, being debated at the moment, but I, I can't see it being rotated. I feel it will stay uh, as is pretty well. There might be some minor changes. There'll be certain... Uh, um, the player who uh, is not used by a VFL club in, he, in his zone in a certain period of time, uh, I think will be given uh, far greater options that to, to go to other VFL clubs to try himself out there. Graeme, you've been in the Bendigo footy scene for a long time, and who are you going for in the big one today? Well, you never lose uh, one on Alan Killigrew who spoke this morning at the breakfast, you know, about uh, the great uh, spirit and, and love of club and love of uh, 
the game, but uh, you know, my first love was Sandhurst, and I've got to tip them uh, from the heart. But I believe they are a pretty good side, and uh, uh, won the second semi convincingly. I think they win today. Graham Arthur, a very popular character with the Victorian Country Football League. He's played a lot of football around Country Victoria. There's the TAB information on the Edward Manifold Stakes at Flemington. Number eight, Taj Eclipse, paid $7.60 a win and $1.95 a place. The top weight, Perfect Bliss, $1.15. And number four, Lookaloft, $1.05. Eight, one and four, the numbers in the Edward Manifold. We'll be back at the QEO after this break. <laughs>